Hello, Charlie Hayes. Hello. It's good to have you. I have one of my, uh, well, one of the viewers and subscribers to my channel that told me about you after I interviewed Muji, and he said, you have to meet Charlie. He's amazing, and you got to interview him. Please, please, please. So here we are. Let's talk about nothing. Let's talk about let's nothing, because that's, that's, uh, that's, that's your favorite topic, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's... Uh, but it's not the nothing of like a hole in the middle of everything. It's not the nothing like the nihilism of the existentialists. It's not the nothing like a void, but it is nothing as everything. This is what's called non-duality. It's the nothing being everything, which we point to. Uh, that's incomprehensible to the mind because the mind is a tool of dividing and distinguishing. And so the mind only knows this versus that, here versus there. But it feels sometimes so, we're out there. <laughs> well, you seem to believe that or think that, and that's very common. That's the ordinary way of interpreting the world. The ordinary sense of interpretation of the world is that I'm in here and the world is out there. Mm -hmm. But that's only an interpretation, whereas what you are is always truly here, and is there ever any time except now? Once you see that time and space or location here, there, are concepts, and that what you are has never been a concept, do you know what are you in deep sleep? Now, you're not conscious in deep sleep, right? I there's guess, no consciousness I, in deep sleep. I, you're I not, guess no, there's you're, no presence, there is no connection, there's no... There's, in deep sleep, there's nothing. Mm-hmm. But yet that nothing beats that heart, breathes the air in and out of the lungs, grows hair, grows fingernails, creates that beautiful face anew every moment, but you're not aware of it. Mm -hmm. the, the, really, the pointer is that consciousness or the sense of being like I am, you know, everyone knows I am and no one can say I am not, that sense of knowing I am is consciousness. But that's not there in deep sleep. Yet what is there in deep sleep is the silence and the stillness of your true nature, which is awareness, which beats the heart, grows the hair and fingernails, you know, breathes the air in and out of the lungs. All of that happening fully, totally, completely, all by itself, without you, mm -hmm. without you like consciousness. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we start to intellectualize like right now we're bringing in the mind and we, I feel like my mind is fighting this whereas when we bring it to the heart it seems like it just automatically happens and we're just being and then our whole being relaxes understood know? but mind and heart are both concepts what you are is not a concept and the closest word to point to what you are like the pure isness that you are, is love. Mm -hmm. What you are is love. Mm -hmm. As a friend of mine said, you don't have to go looking for love when it's who you are and where you come from. Exactly. But we have rules about what love is, and we have notions and concepts about what love is. But what if love is no thing? Space. It's kind of like if you can imagine a space of absolute silence and absolute stillness in which everything is allowed to be exactly as it is and exactly as it isn't. Now, wouldn't that be a pretty good definition of love? Giving someone the space to be the way they are and to be the way they're not so that they can change and they don't have to? That's, that's kind of like it, the essence of our true nature is that timeless space-like being presencing as the pure love of what is. So the enormous possibility in what is shared here is the possibility for the human being to realize herself or himself as love. Mm -hmm. To recognize, to recognize the infinite love which is just this pure presence of awareness that we are, mm -hmm. in which there's no limitation, no lack, nothing wrong. See, the condition 
that I've been able to observe the condition of the hum, human family, mm -hmm. the condition is there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but, you know, I, I'm either responsible for that or not responsible for that. You know, it's my fault or it's not my fault. It's their fault. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to be to blame for there being something wrong. So, you know, we blame the president and the Congress if you're an American. You know, you might blame the but traffic. We are that too. Well, yes, ultimately it's non-duality, so everything is that. Mm -hmm. Love is really giving everything the space to be the way it is and the way it isn't. Loving what is is the simplest thing in the world. It's actually what's real. Mm -hmm. But we get caught up in concepts, and I'm glad you mentioned the mind and intellectualizing all this, because this is not something that can be grasped or understood by the mind. The mind itself is simply the sense of an I apart from other. That's all the mind is. The mind is I and time. Mm -hmm. And all both of those are just concepts. Now, right now, before the next thought appears, what is fully present and fully aware? Inness. I amness. I amness. And that even that I amness is preverbal, isn't it? So yeah, just putting not, a label on it, actually. I mean, just yeah. putting a word on it. Just he, exactly, as Lao Tzu said in the Tao Te Ching, which is to know the always so is to be illumined. So illumination is simply to know what never changes, and what never changes is this presence of awareness, which is fully present right now, and that's what we are. So it's from this space that we should communicate. Towards each other. Well, there should in this. You know, communication happens, but uh, I say that this communication is not happening between Charlie and Lilo, or between Lilo and Charlie and the viewers. That the communication is really from I am to I am, with great love and respect, by the way. Mm -hmm. With the awesome love and respect of knowing who people are beyond their stories, beyond their concepts, even beyond their experiences, because experiences come and go. Beyond their personality. Beyond the persona, yes. The, the word person, personality or person comes from the ancient word persona, which is a word for the mask, the mask we all wear. Mm. And this mask masks our true nature, apparently, but only apparently, as Muji likes to point out. Mm. What we're talking about here, we're pointing to a love that is so vast and so complete and so unconditioned that it allows for any condition to say it poetically it is a love that is in love with both war and peace it is a love that embraces and allows and appreciates even hatred and bigotry in other words it's a love that is truly unconditional you froze, Charlie, but we heard those words. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much for this interview. Well, you're very welcome. And uh, if you'd like to do this again at some future time,